Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are creating this very festive reindeer look. Um, we've got the doe eyes, we've got the antlers, Rudolph's red nose and then the lips. Um, yeah, this actually took me about three hours to film. Um, so if this video is a little bit longer, then yeah, that's why. There was a lot happening in this look. Um, but yeah. Let's just get started. So I first just moisturised my skin with my Revolution Matte Fight Boost. And then I went in with my Revolution Conceal and Define foundation and used that as my eye primer. And then I just took a little bit of cello tape because we're doing like a big wing today. And so I took that on the corners of my eyes like usual. Um, I sort of like put it like lower down today because I wanted the wing to like really really come out into my temples so yeah I like positioned the sellotape um, different to usual um, yeah so that's me all ready to get started on the eyes so today I'm gonna take my Revolution Patricia palette um, this is her which one is this Rich in Life palette, um, so this is the more neutral one, um, I believe she's got like a more colourful um, palette as well. So I'm first taking the shades No Days Off and Workaholic um, and I mixed those together and then I just took the big fluffy brush and started sweeping that um, all over my eye. Um, it was really helpful obviously because the set of tape is there. Um, it just created like a big sharp, I guess like V. Um, so yeah, I just continued putting that all over. I made sure to bring it quite far in as well, like into that kind of that space where like your inner corner is, like where your eyebrow and like nose, like where your nose starts going in. I don't really know how to explain this, um, but you can see what I'm doing. But yeah, I just brought that shadow like really, really in. Um, to give like a nice sculpted look to the eye so yeah I'm just continuously blending that in and then I took the shade brown sugar which is like a warmer shade and put that just a little bit lower down um, and again blended that all over um, and then lastly I took irreplaceable which was a darker brown and again pretty much that pretty much went um, in the same place as brown sugar, but obviously it was just darker um, So yeah, I just blended that out um, I was quite chill with this like I wasn't bothering about being too precise because I was doing like a gonna be doing like a huge cut crease um, I knew that like the shape would come together when I did that so I was quite um, I, don't know, I guess loose handed. I mean you get heavy handed sort of heavy, light, loose, yeah light handed um, with my shadows. So I then took my Revolution foundation again um, and cut the crease with that. Um, this foundation is like really good for cutting creases as well um, so I didn't really like, I didn't really think there was a need for a concealer and like foundation does the same basically the same thing so yeah I'm um, just cutting my crease so I made sure to really go into that inner corner um, and drag it out a little bit towards the bridge of my nose and then I took it quite high up and just flicked it out at the edge like the outer corner of my eye um, and yeah that's pretty much it um, yeah I mean I don't really have anything else to s I don't really have like anything else to say um, yeah
So next up is the eyeliner. So I used my Revolution Pro um, pen eyeliner and my Rimmel Wonderwing eyeliner. Um, I like using both of these because the Revolution one is a bit like the what's the word like the nib like where the actual um, liner comes out like it's really thin so it's really good for like detail and precise stuff but my um, Rimmer one is better um, like when I don't have to be like too precise and stuff um, and it's like quicker to use my Revolution one's a bit dry so it's a bit draggy whereas the other one isn't so yeah so I'm just using them and I'm just creating my super long wing um, so yeah this took a little bit of time because as well I had to go into my inner corner and like extend my inner corner um, and I've like I've seen it done like loads of times so I'm like oh that looks really nice because it makes your eyes look longer but yeah this was my first time doing that um, so yeah it took a, a couple of attempts um, plus I don't think my eyes like that part of my eyes are matching but it doesn't really matter um, still does the job but yeah this took me quite a while but yeah you just have to be you just have to take your time um, steady hand um, I was actually resting my elbow like on my knees and stuff um, but yeah just take your time try and be as precise as you can um, and yeah that was that was it for the eyeliner So then I just added some mascara to my lashes. I just went in with my Smashbox and Revolution mascara. Um, I didn't really add a lot because like, you literally cannot see my lashes because my eyeliner is so thick. Um, obviously I'm going to go in with lashes later on. But yeah, I wasn't really that worried about putting too much mascara on because you couldn't see it anyway. And I was just going to put lashes on, so yeah. So leaving the eyes for now, we're going to go on to the skin. So I took my uh, Ordinary Primer, um, silicone primer, and yeah, just took a bit of that, um, put it everywhere on my face, um, blended it in, ready for foundation. So for foundation, I ac actually mixed two. So I've got my Revolution Conceal and Define in F1, and I mixed it with my Kiko Liquid Skin Foundation in Neutral 5. Um, I really like these two together. Um, I guess the Revolution one is a bit, it's a little bit too pale for me. Um, and a bit, it's not dry because it's not, it's a foundation. Um, but like the liquid skin, the Kiko one, is like really, really liquidy. Um, so I really like mixing these two together. Um, I actually put on a little bit too much on my face. Um, so I was blending this out for a little while. But yeah, I really, really like the finish of these two foundations. And they're both, well, the Revolution one is full coverage. The Kiko one, mm, I would say is like a high medium if you like build it up. Um, but yeah, I really like these two foundations. So I was happy with my base. And I needed like a strong base today because of everything else that was going to be going on the face. So yeah. So to cream contour, well bronze, I then took my Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick and I went to town with this um, because of like it's a reindeer look so I wanted this like bronzer to be really really prominent on my face like oh, almost un well it is unnatural because my face isn't a reindeer's face um, so yeah I sort of almost wanted it to look like too much like you know there's sometimes well back in your high school days where you'd put way too much bronzer on or foundation and you get like the lines and it just isn't blended yeah that's kind of the look I was going for um, so yeah put that on my forehead and on my cheeks
So I then really needed to set because we've got a lot on our base right now. So I just took my I Heart Revolution coconut powder. Um, I first got a little, um, like a fluffy blending brush and put this underneath my eyes and down the side of my nose. Um, just because I didn't want to put like the big puff like right near my eyes because I didn't want it to like ruin or disturb anything. So yeah, um, I used a brush first and then I just used my powder puff um, over the rest of my face and my face brush as well just to like, um, like pat that all in so it was all nice and set. So we then have bronze and contour. So I took my two palettes that I always use um, and first like really sculpted out um, my cheekbones and like into my hairline on my forehead and then I took my HD palette um, and just bronzed up the rest of my face um, I also wanted like kind of a, a bit of a glow um, where's the palette? oh here it is um, kind of like a glowy bronzer so I took my Revolution Vintage Lace um, intense metallic cream powder highlighter um, and they've got like a bronze like they've got a white a gold a pink and then like a I don't know bronzing shade but obviously I don't really use that normally because it's too dark but because I was going for like a dark contour and bronze today and um, I added that so it sort of like gave a little bit of a all over glow um, yeah and I really like that it's pretty so for nose contour. I usually don't contour my nose because, I don't know, I just haven't really figured out how I need to contour it and my nose is a little bit big and I don't want to do anything that could potentially make it bigger than it already is. Um, but yeah, I took my two Revolution um, bronzer palettes again and I kind of just mixed like all the brown shades together really. Um, I started off light and then darkened it up so I went. Um, and I made sure to just focus that on the two sides and then I brought it up um, into my, well not into my eyebrows, but like up where my eyebrows start, if you know what I mean. Um, so that like sculpted out the top of my nose as well. And then just down the side of my nose. I didn't do anything with like the tip of my nose because that's going to have red on it later on. Um, so yeah, I just left it as that. And then moving on to highlighter, because um, the rest of my base was quite dark, I could afford to go in with a slightly darker highlight. So I used my BH Cosmetics highlighter palette and I mixed the shades Double Trouble and Double Date. And they're pretty similar except Double Date is like a darker gold, whereas Double Trouble is like a gold I can get away with. So yeah, I mixed them together, so I just took that highlighter down the centre of my nose, my cheekbones, my cubes bow. I didn't put any on my eyebrow bone, because um, I just wanted that to stay matte. So yeah. So moving back onto the eyes, I went in with my... I'm not entirely sure where this is from. Prestige? Prestige White Eyeliner. But it's like an eyeliner pencil. So I first used that to kind of like figure out the shape because I was going to go in with white and then black underneath to like make my eyes look bigger. So I kind of like used that first to like map out where the white would go and like where I needed the black to go. And then once I did that, I went back in with my black eyeliners. I think I just mixed which ones I used but I think for like the tip um, like the inner part of it I used the revolution one because the tip is smaller for that so yeah I just had to kind of like draw as if that was where my eyes like that was where my waterline like lash line was instead um, yeah the inner corner bit took a little bit of time like it did um, when I was doing my eyeliner on like my actual eye um, but yeah I just used the eyeliner to create my shape and then made sure to bring it up to where my wing starts so that it like um, blended in with my wing 
um, and then I used a bit of black from the Patricia palette, uh, what's it called, Stargirl, I used that on like a really really tiny brush um, and just kind of um, smoked that into the um, eyeliner just to make it like a bit more diffused um, and then I just went in a little, with a little bit of my W7 W7? Yeah, W7 mascara on my lower lashes. So moving on to eyelashes, um, I knew that I wanted these to be like really big and fluffy so I started with my collection pencil and just drew my line underneath but when I did it on one of my eyes it kind of went a bit funny and it sort of like flicked up and I was like what are you doing but then I was looking at it and I was like mm. I was like it kind of goes like because obviously my wings have flicked up so like having my eyebrows being a bit flicky on the end I was like oh mm, yeah I can deal with that so I kind of just went with that um, and I just penciled in my eyebrows and then used my Revolution micro brow pen um, to just fill in the front of my eyebrows. Okay, so here it comes mm, kind of the hard part. I mean, I think overall my eyes probably took the longest, um, but I would say the antlers took a long time as well. So I actually, when I was doing this, I actually had a picture up of antlers on Google, and that was the shape that I was trying to copy. So I just went, I just used my liner. Um, I think I only used the Rimmel liner for this one. Um, so yeah, I wanted them to start from my eyebrows um, and sort of like where the, what's the word, like the arches, um, so I wanted to start from there, so I put like two little dots to figure out where I wanted them to start and then from there I literally just tried to copy as best as I could the picture that I found off of Google. Um, the first side went a lot better than the second. Um, the second one is a little bit dodgy. Um, yeah, I would say my right eye is like far more antly, antly, ant antlery, antlery than my um, left eye. But like for a first attempt, I'm pretty chuffed with it. Um, but yeah, all I did, I just outlined it with my black liner and then I went back into my Revolution palette, my Patricia one and used the shade what did I, sh what did I use? No Game Played which is, I can't even find it If I just, oh yeah, um, it's kind of like a cool tone brown, so I started to put that um, through the antlers just with like a really really little brush. Um, I think I used beforehand some of that black um, and just diffused the edges a little bit. And then I went in with Irreplaceable, no I didn't, I went in with Jet Setter, which is like a darker cooler brown, um, and put that through the antlers as well. And then on the ends, I actually used a bit of Angel, which is like the white of the palette, because I kind of wanted the tips, because reindeer's antlers are, they're white. Are they white? I'm pretty sure they're white. Well, I think they have a mix of colours, but I'm pretty sure I've seen white antlers on a reindeer. Um, so yeah, I just put them, put that colour like through the tips a little bit. And then... I then went in with Shining Shining, which is like a brown shimmer, brownie gold shimmer, and I just lightly dusted that over the brown to make them look a bit more shiny. I mean, because I'd gone in with that shiny bronze, I kind of wanted the antlers to be a bit shiny as well. Um, so yeah, that was the antlers done.
So now that the face is done and my antlers, I went in with my Revolution Pro Lightener Drops and I took um, one of my brushes because they've got rounded edges and I put some of the drops onto my hands, dipped the brush in it and then created like little dots to go on my cheeks and forehead, like basically all where that bronzer is. Um, and then I, so I used a couple of different brushes to get like different um, sized dots um, and I also went in with my collection white eyeliner and just made some like teeny tiny little dots and stuff um, but yeah that worked pretty well um, so yeah I'm feeling pretty rangery right now <laughs> So, moving back onto the nose, I used my BH Cosmetics Nice palette and used the red shade, which is Jolly. So I used that and um, sort of just covered like the tip of my nose, but I made sure like the centre was more sloped downwards and like the sides went up a little bit, just to, I don't know, that's just the shape that I wanted to create. So yeah, I filled that in. Um, and then I outlined it with my black eyeliner and then I took that liner down my cupid's bow and then made my lip shape so I overdrew my lips um, but made them more of like um, like you know the pointy bits of your lips like mine are pointy whereas I made them more like bow shape if that makes sense so yeah I did that and then where the corners like the outer corners of my lips are, I just flicked up that eyeliner. Um, I mean, I don't really know how I felt about this because I felt a bit, a little bit um, jokery. I mean, it's nowhere near what the Joker lips are like, but I don't know. I don't think I quite got it in the right place, so I think it looks a bit funny. Um, but yeah, you you get the general idea. So yeah, I just um, put that over my lips, and then. I went in with my Avon, um, so Avon we get, well I get in this part of the country, I don't really, don't really know about anywhere else, um, but I've had like this little mini sample, because um, I didn't want to put like black eyeliner like all over my lips, and I didn't have a black lipstick, so I was like, mm, I don't really know what to do, so I found like the darkest lipstick I had, which was Superb Wine. And I put that over, and then I found that it actually helped like blend the eyeliner like more onto my lips. So I used that, and then I actually took a little bit of that black eyeshadow and sort of like patted that around the edges as well. Um, then what did I do? I think then I added the glitter onto my nose. So I took my Topshop. It's actually a lip um, topper. And I got this in a set years ago, but I never used it. But it's like a red glitter, and it's meant for your lips, but I was like, I'll just put it on my nose. So yeah, I took that, and I wet it with my Revolution um, Fixing Spray, and just bounced that over my nose, and then I put a tiny bit on the centre of my lips, just to kind of tie it together. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I added my lashes off camera, um, but I'll link them down below. They're just the lashes I used in my other videos um, from Amazon. Um, but yeah, I'm, I am so happy with this look. Like this was, out of all the looks I'd planned, I was like, this is the one that's gonna go really wrong. I don't know how to draw antlers. I don't know how to do the rest of my face. Like I was stressing about this look. But I really, really like it. I actually think it's probably the best one I've done so far. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. Um, and I feel like it looks pretty reindeery, quite doughy. Um, but yeah, I was, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Um, but yeah, if you like this look and you want to see more, um, don't be afraid to subscribe, like, comment, share, whatever you want to do. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye! Ooh, guys, I've got to say, on a sort of PS, um, my Christmas look that's going up on Christmas Eve, that's already scheduled, so this is actually like the last one I've done before Christmas, so I just want to say Happy Christmas, hope you're all okay with everything that's going on, I hope you have a good day, no matter what, 
Um, yeah, just Merry Christmas and I'll be uploading more um, after Boxing Day. Yeah, bye!